Greetings and salutations universe, this is Krita, and this is Legend of Dragoon. In the last episode, we defeated the last Kraken after acquiring the Psychedelic Bomb X. And now, I believe we have to run all the way out of this city. Um, now, you, you saw me get to this location, so I'll be moving along to new locations wherever possible. So I just skipped, uh, I believe, three screens to get to here. Buckle, you are... Miranda, you are still annoying, Uck. Are other people safe, Uck? Don't say so anything. Savan died. Buckle and other creatures cannot live without Savan. Uck. Can't we do something for you? Can't you be saved with a dragoon's power? Answer me! Be quiet, Uck. Good night, Uck. Doink. Are you playing dead again? Give me a break. We can meet again soon, Uck. Closing my eyes, and soon, Uck. Aww. Wonder... Oh, This room is the same. Dart! Decal's time is stopping, Cal. I cannot roll any more, Cal. But before that, you must see Fino. Dad, what are you doing? The moon mirror is broken? Because the signet sphere of Aegilus was destroyed, he doesn't need it anymore, Fino. Sieg is in the lost city Xenobatos, Fino. Go, hurry, Fino. But how can we go? We connected the teleport device, Cal. Please keep rolling for decal, Cal. He's dead. He opened our road with his last power. We won't waste your death. Aww. Wonder what will be in the last room. Oh, these guys. Rose. Ruff has been here forever, Ruff. Ruff only, kno only knows views and sound in here, Ruff. Ruff wanted to go outside at least once, Ruff. Don't worry. Now you can go out. Okay, Ruff. It's Ruff, Ruff. These babies are dead, too. So their death won't be in vain. We have to move on. That's true. These babies completed their own duty. We have to do as well. Oh, it's hitting me in the feels, guys. Oh, all right. So... Is this door open now? This must be the door to the teleport device Decal was talking about. Oh, I should have tried the telepad first! Dang it! Oh well, that's okay. It looks like the one in my forest! This can take us to Xenobotus instantly. It's completely different. Wingley's had such astonishing magical power, moving between cities instantly like this. It's astonishing, all right, but I cannot accept life being generated by magic. Me neither. It's too depressing to be born just to do one thing. The Farage embryo, the god of destruction, was born for destruction only. Its existence might of the same sorrow. 
then let's try to make sure it feel wait what and let's try to make it feel better Ooh. by making sure it'll never be born we gotta protect I feel like Rose wouldn't say gotta. We have got to protect the next Signet Sphere. Let's go to the Lost City Zenobatos. Whee! So all the way from the ocean over here, apparently, over to this rather snowy area here we are this place is very yellow compared to the purple of Aeglis let's take a look and see what we see here so this is the lost city Xenobatos it is the city where the legislation and administration of the world of the ancient winglies were carried out it's an austere place. It seems like a place Albert would love. Yes, I have a great interest in the way that they manage their nations. However, I don't think I can learn anything from such a mess. It fell more than 10,000 years ago. Warning, 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 warning. Warning, Xenobotus is under martial law. Leave the city at once. Good for you, Albert. It seems that Xenobotus is still alive. Warning! Invaded by humans. Take shelter in Kadassa immediately. Warning, warning, warning. However, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be functioning. Are those generated by magic too? It seems like it. But it's different from Buckle. There's no heart in it. It's just like Zeke now. Hey guys, there's something coming this way. What's this? I am Kulun. Kulan, I'll be your wings. Savan was talking about it in his last moments. Wings that can fly the skies will be given. It was about you. Rose, and people who are carrying the world. Although Savan couldn't accomplish his objectives, he fulfilled his role at the expense of his life. Now, everything is on you. I know. I will stop my father and fulfill Savan's will. I'll be here waiting for you whenever you would like to go back to the world. I'll be your wings. Oh, now we have some choices to make. We can either explore Xenobotus. What's up with you, buddy? The law prohibits humans from going to the Signet Sphere. Thus, this flying disc cannot be used. So, is this the Signet Sphere ahead? Wingly Code, Article 703. The law prohibits non-winglies from going to the Signet Sphere. I'm a wingly. No magic power, as a wingly, is required. Hey, what do you mean? Wait. It means that my father cannot pass here either. Yeah, that's right. It means we still have some time left. Um... I'm really tempted to enjoy Xenobotus. I love Xenobotus. Uh, however, I think we need to pass on Xenobotus at the moment because, because we now have wings, which means we can go and do a few important things. Specifically, we need to go say hi to Shirley. So, where... Can this only take us to the Crystal Palace? Oh, I need to get to... 
that place. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's try moving here and maybe it'll let us get closer. Um, square. Square? Alright, so this is as close as we can get. We need to go back to Velweb. Maybe. I'm gonna check first. Uh, because there's the trapped dragoons who are still in their spirits and we need to help them uh, for their own sake, but also because Shirley has asked us to. On my way to Velweb, I've noticed uh, there's this spot right here and something's drawing me down there. But we're not strong enough yet, so on to Velweb. And here we are at Velweb. The cool thing is it looks like we'll be able to hop on Kulon uh, from here, so into the city we go. Now, Dart is getting very close to getting his final edition, so I'm not sure what to do about that. What we might do is do a little bit of training before we actually uh, try and tackle the dragon, the dragoons. Hmm. We'll see. Well, uh, whoops. Looks like Shirley had something to say when I just came into this area. Rose, visit me again, but my power is at a limit. Please, save the souls of the four dragoons, who were our companions. Surely, you have done well. But we have to pursue Zeke now. I will trust you to save the dragoon souls. Um, yeah, I think we're doing it now. Now again, I'm not super sure that we're going to be powerful enough to defeat these guys. But, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, first up, we're going to go towards the blue one. It's over there. Look like we'll have another fight. And uh, we'll go into that room and see if we can rescue and put to rest that poor dragoon. Here we go. Let's go in and see how she's doing in here. There's water everywhere. Nothing has changed here. Even a bit. She's still a kid. Yes, she was 15 years old back then. She was younger than Maru. Such kids could manage the power of dragoons? Yes, she was born between a woman, a human, and a mermaid, so that she had a special power. Rose, you were worried and came here to see me? Yes. Thank you, as always. Rose, don't go anywhere. Don't leave me alone again. Say something. Rose, you will make me feel lonely like everybody else? No, I won't. There is nobody who bullies you and there is nobody who bullies you like in the past anymore. We won't let them. Yes, Rose and the other dragoons are all kind to me. But why make such a sad face? Sorry, Damia, but there is somewhere you have to go. Forgive me. Well, no one is going to bully her except for us, apparently. I'm not sure if we're ready for this. That's why I went for the blue one first. I feel it's most likely that we should be able to do a good amount of damage, especially if we use Dart's Dragoon. Uh, keeping in mind that this is a fire type, so it should weaken Damia and will hit harder with a Dragoon. That's the idea, anyway. Let's see if we can put it to practice. Um, what was it? She has like 9,000 health or something. Just on memory. Let's just hit her with a big dragoon or a big fire dragon and see what happens. I think the well, it we could have gone here after we were at Ulara 
Because we gained access to the map. Hmm. I don't know. We might get wrecked by this girl. It's possible. It's also possible we're totally on the right level. That's definitely a good start. It's like 15% of her health. Don't hit me with a dragoon back, please. Or with a dragon. That's a good point. Will she heal herself? I don't know. But dragoon magic, I'm not too worried about it. It shouldn't do all that much against us. Um, Maru and Dart have the helmet on. Yeah, totally missed Maru. So it only did like 203, what was that? Against Rose? That's nothing. Um, Rose, I, I think it would be rude of you to use a dragon. <laughs> So, we'll just go for normal hits. What are we looking at? 593? Okay. Maru, you're pretty much going to be useless against Damia, so if you need to, we can heal. I think Damia just used Diamond Dust against us, because that wasn't Freezing Ring, I think. Anyway. Hit her with a hammer. She has a hammer. We have a hammer. There's two blue dragoons here. Let's do it. Boom, boom. Kaboom, boom. What, like 50 damage? Rose did 500. Oh! Hey, look at that. Not bad. Her physical attacks are what we're worried about. Thankfully, it's Rose. How much? 240? I think we should be in good shape. Yeah. Shape here, assuming she doesn't go crazy. I wonder if she can heal herself. Oh, so this is Freezing Ring. Okay. You're getting a full taste of what Maru's <laughs> magic looks like, as I don't use it very much. I, did anything just happen? I don't know. Um, let's just go in for a normal attack. Dart is having a special, so we don't have to charge it. That's nice. Maru did 651. Let's see what Dart does. 735, not bad, not bad. Let's see if we can get a, f a special again. I feel like it's lucky if I get 5. Still 522, not bad. Not half health yet either. Oh. You're telling one of your best friends to die, Rose. That's not very nice. The idea is that these guys are trapped in the mortal realm by Shirley. Shirley stopping them from moving on to Mayfield. Um, so, we're basically helping them move along a little bit more expediently. They died in the dragon campaign. So, we have to put them to rest. Uh, what one is this one? Uh... It's the hit. Everyone knows this is freezing room. Okay. Now against Dart, this might do a lot of damage if he didn't have the Legend Cask, making it completely miss. A little bit overpowered there. She's at half health, and we are doing A-OK, -okay, so I think we are in good shape to move forward with at least another Dragoon. I think she's the easiest. Um with Belzac being the hardest, if I remember. Belzac is brutal if we're not ready. Oh. That's close. Let's see, so what, what are the dragoons? There's... Belzac is the purple one. 
S something, like Cervus or something, is the green one. Maybe Belzac is the brown one. I don't know, but I think that name is so cool, Belzac. Boom, perfect. Now these are completely optional bosses. We're here because it is content that I enjoy greatly. I love Legend of Dragoon, clearly. So, this is just a wonderful way to spend some time. That's not a good time for you to use your dragon. Maru just got out of her form. Oh, and it's a focus attack? Ugh. Alright, so this is what her dragon will look like. It's a single person attack. The dragon swims under the water. And then shatters it as it smashes through. Doink. Oh, and a whirlpool. Wait, wait. But it misses. <laughs> uh, Legend Cask is overpowered. Oh, she's going again. This is ridiculous. We might have to do another episode just for the other three at this rate. Maybe, yeah, we'll see. Is it three or four? Alright, so Zeke is alive, Rose is alive, Shirley is kind of a spirit. So I think it's four dragon dragoons, yeah. Red, purple, green, and brown. Okay, yep. Oh, that's terrible! Just two? Ugh. Damia, it is clear what's happening here. You don't have to keep casting magic. Just hit us with a physical attack or something, I don't know. Oh, that's weird. What's going on there? There we go. We had a little bit of a glitch there, no big deal. Let's continue. Now, we might finish her off with one dart special. She's in the red. So this might take her out. The excellent thing is that she doesn't use Maru's healing skill. That would be truly difficult. And the nice thing is is that Rose is in these parties. So this means that Rose is kind of putting her friend uh, to rest. I find some poetry in that. Let's see if we can get Rose to do the final hit. How much does Maru take? 382. That's kind of painful. Alright, Rose. Finish this. With a perfect as well. There was a slight flicker in the screen. Is that enough? Hey, perfect. For that we get 300 gold, 6,000 experience. That is less experience than we got from the last Kraken, so I think that this is the proper level to be doing this at. A little bit of level with Dart as well. Awesome. Damia, everything will be fine. You won't become lonely anymore. 
When you go there, everyone will be waiting for you. It's true. I feel... I feel them. Are you coming, Rose? Yes. When the time has come, everyone goes there. Then, I'm relieved. See you! Now, let's go. Alright, that has been Legend of Dragoon. We got out of Aeglis, and we took down Damia. Oh, and we arrived at Xenobotus, yes. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably try and take down at least two of the next Dragoons. So, I'll see you next time. This has been Krita, playing Legend of Dragoon. Bye bye